Ahoy, mateys! Welcome to the Cannonball Podcast. I am your host, Captain C, with my crewmates. Let's let's introduce the crew. We have Double Shot Guerrero, or Double Shot Andy. He fires two loads. <laughs> I'll tell you, does. We have uh, we have our pretty boy, our fantastic pirate. He always wears earrings, ginger beard. Arr. Hello. And our blind pirate in one eye. One eye, Josh. One eye, Josh. Are you ready? Are you ready, kids? All right, we're ready. All right. Oh. We have oh. fun. We have a fun podcast. Um, to do. This is gonna be fun. So, Josh, what's our first topic? Um, our first topic today is the arresting of the people that stormed the, stormed the Capitol building. Do we believe the arrests are now justified or not? Um, hey Josh, you're kind of, uh, you're quiet. Is better? Oh yeah, it's better. Yeah, it's better, Josh. Yeah. There you go. No, so, the Capitol Hill arrests, do we believe that they're, do, do we agree with them or not? I, I for one, agree. I agree, definitely. I agree too. You uh, committed. You you committed a um. Sorry, Josh. This act. Yeah. yeah. I have not heard of this. You remember the Capitol Hill storming? Storming of the Capitol. Yeah. Well, that was like like almost half half a year ago, I think. It was during the, uh, when the election was going on. Yeah, so that's, that's the Capitol Hill. Um, that's what's going on with Capitol Hill. And that they're already arresting people now. Do you think it's justified? Yeah, I think I do because, I mean, I mean, you're, you're storming, you're storming, you're storming the, the Capitol. Like, what do you expect? Well, you're also committing a treasonous act. Exactly. All right, that seems like an interesting. All right, that was that was pretty quick. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, really? Yeah. yeah. Just... Josh. Next up, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna go be right back. I have to go check that out. Zach forgot. <laughs> <laughs> and there he goes. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm back. I'm back. That was fast. And that is our gay number. What what would it take for, what amount of money would it take for us to do anything gay? All right. Um, uh, a, double a, shot, a, you're up. Wait, wait. Can you uh, repeat that, Josh? I can understand okay. you. So our gay number basically means someone pays us this X amount of money and we'll do something gay with them. What? How much would I have to do something gay? Yeah, how much? My number is about... Uh... 100 mil. 100 mil to do what? Is there things you won't do or things you won't do? Uh... This is, this is weird. Yeah, I agree. Not entirely weird. Very popular question, very popular question. What's your gay number? For anything, 100 million. For anything, 100 million. You'll get bumped on for 100 million. No. No, no, no. You already said it. Where are you going? I didn't finish my statement, though. No, you did finish your statement. No, I did not. Period. There was a specific pause in which you finished your statement. And I wrote, any case I have 100 million, my number. Except, I didn't know. No, no, no. No, we're not doing this. All right, John, Ginger, what's your your number? Why would you ask, out of all the questions, why that? I don't know. This is Josh's topic. Don't blame me. Not this you. This is a very I'm, stupid topic, Josh. I'm, 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 I'm very twisted, too. I am talking to Josh. Well, out of all the questions you, you could think of, why that? At all. I don't know. I don't know. 
Okay, well... I think he's trying to sell us something. Yeah, Fuck so... You. Well, to be fair, to be fair, he already proved he wasn't gay because I just told him I'd take him down to wherever the gay people go and he can have, he can have all the blowjobs he wants. Yeah, I can give him the photos you want. I want. That's a fuck you. I gave him the photos. Give me well, the, other, the other thing is, John. I even gave him an ultimatum. He gets on his he gets on his knees and blows you. And he said no. <laughs> then I said Andrew. And he said no. Okay. Uh, I'm sort of like well, you asked me. Well, so you clearly, so, so he clearly he's so he's clearly not gay. I don't know. Ginger, ginger beard. If you had a number, what the number would be? I don't really. Just, just say it. All right. Um. Let's see. Five hundred million. Ah, uh, you. Wow. Uh, you went four million more than Andrew. Okay. For I'm... anal. For anal. <laughs> <laughs> it will hurt. That means, a lot. That means, that means it's lower. That means it's lower for a blowjob. <laughs> oh, okay. God. Um, I'll go then, and then Chris can go last. Okay. Go. Um, I guess mine would be four hundred million for kissing and ha- a hand job, and that's it. Wow, you guys are strictly gonna try and make Andrew. A fucking low number on purpose. I hate this question so much right now. You. Josh, the you want to know what? You want to know my number? What? None. My number is zero because there's no way in hell I'm taking a million dollars to do something gay. I'll end up killing myself. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I will say this for the record. I agree with Chris. <laughs> and in reality, that is what I would do. To be fair, never, to be fair, if there's any that. if there's any gay people listening, you're you're, you're adding guests. We're all straight white males. Yeah. So in our in our perception, we can't see anything sexual to a dick. I'm willing to kiss you and jerk you off. It's the best I can do for you. Oh Lord. We really would like to test that theory. We we really need to go to the gay district to let Josh test this theory. <laughs> Can we skip to the next? Um, <laughs> okay, well, Ginger, Ginger Beard is in Paris right now. No, I, no, I want to stop this, please. I'm not really embarrassed. I'm more of like a gun ho kind of guy. I didn't say shit. You know what? I'm going to say no. I'll get charged. That's me. N- okay, next topic. Oh, okay, next up for the love is of God. Rick and Morty, season Dang. five. Oh, yeah. We watched it. We so, far it's, it. so far, so far, it's badass. Yeah, Best it's sperm badass. episode. <laughs> Jesus <Yeah>. Christ. <laughs> Bro, at the end, yeah. with the baby, that kind of scared me a little bit. Why is Tina, though? Why is Tina, though? Come on now. What? Why is Tina? She was fine. No, she was good. Wait, what? Why is Tina? I'm, t- I'm talking about the sperm uh, episode. Yeah, I know. I know what you're talking about. It, well, so, the, 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 what does um, Plenty and Tina have to, have to do with it? That's my favorite episode of the season so far. Your favorite episode? Yeah, Plenty and Tina is my favorite episode of the season so far. And I think mine is the, the, the funniest uh, of, the, of the season. It, it's the sperm episode. It's, it's a sperm episode. Yeah, the sperm is pretty fucking funny. How is it? <laughs> Bro, it's like... Rick, Rick has a fucking horse, baby. Yeah. Can I just say one thing? I feel bad for Andrew. He's not, he's not involved in this conversation. He's on mute right now. Oh, he... The whole fuck time won't talk. Oh, never... I'm not really into Rick and Marty, to be honest with y'all. Don't worry, I'll just say we'll watch one episode. I'm going to watch one episode of Rick and Marty. What you talking about? Yeah, it's not mm-hmm. for everyone, I get it. I understand. Anyways, it's not for everyone. What was our fair, our fair scenes from, episodes from the last previous seasons? Fair scenes? Yeah, uh, other episodes, either one's fine. Oh, that's going to be a tough one. That's going to be a tough one. I got to go, I gotta go s- Snake Hitler. Snake Hitler. 
Only because I know. Only, only because I know Josh. Josh was scared. I see. Everybody have Winkler. Oh, Hitler! Oh, <laughs> honestly, I thought he was kind of cute. <laughs> I like, I like for the episodes, for the episode with the uh, the giant heads and the um, and the American. Show me what you got! Show me what you got! We like that. <laughs> Everybody have Winkler. Oh, Hitler! Hitler! Oh, 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 Hitler! Raise that posterior. <laughs> that was, yeah. yeah. I love that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what the hell? What, what the hell are we looking at? Oh. I think it's FX. Oh, alright. Uh, FX was at this case now. <laughs> okay. Okay, um, uh, my other episode was the Zorb Resort. I like that one. Okay. Oh, what the? Uh, I'm, not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, Josh. The topics you picked did not help Andrew at all. Okay, okay. Next topic. Next topic. No, let John we... talk. He was gonna talk. Oh, sorry about that, John. Sorry. Oh, I I'm forgot. Sorry. It's okay. I was just, I was just concerned because Andrew Andrew muted himself. He's not involved. Okay, next topic, Andrew. Unmute yourself. All right. Okay, next topic. Who do you think is the scariest Joker? Andrew, you watch that in movies. I'm pretty sure you can. Um, one. The only Joker movie I've ever seen was Suicide Squad. Well, well he ain't scary. Shit. Well, he ain't shit. Hey, Josh. That's a four. I think he, I think he, he, you need a microphone. Is it better? Well, yeah, but it's I know. better when you're closer to your. It's better when you're close to your head. Okay, I'll do that when I'm closer to my head then. All right. I'm sure it's gonna sound all right on the thing. I don't know. Anyway, no. So our our scariest jokers. Yeah. Okay. He, all right. Uh, Heath Ledger. Heath Ledger. Heath Ledger. Oh yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. We share one in common. Or I'm gonna go with Keith Ledger, but I, but second is Mark Hamill for me. I think the second for me is um Jeremiah Valeska from. Ah oh, shit! You are you're right. You're right. Jeremiah Valeska would be my second. Actually, no. I'm gonna go. No, I'm gonna go. Fucking. Where's your room? No, 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 no. No, for me it would be Heath Ledger, and then the second one for me is I gotta go with um, shit. What's his name? I'm trying to think. Who played Joker in '89? Oh, um, uh, Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson. All the ways of the why. I believe he's crazy. He is crazy. I like Jack Nicholson. I believe he's crazy. Yeah. I do. He's he he can play a crazy person. And yeah, he, yeah. Here's Johnny. Yeah, that yeah, that's why I think Joker. That that Joker is. That's a big one for me. Okay. Next next one, Angie, you can participate in this one, okay? Okay. W name one movie, anime, TV show that you want to be stuck in, or book that you want to be stuck in for a year. I already know Andrews. Which one do you think, Chris? Fast and Furious. All those cars and those women. It's perfect. I mean, uh, that that fits that's that fits that fits double shot right there. Got his, got his, got his baby, got his cars and his babies. <laughs> Actually, that's that. Okay, yeah. I think that one would be it. <laughs> yeah, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I was trying to think to see if there was any others, but I think that one's the there best one. There would be no way in hell he would choose a war movie because he gets shot. They could die. Well, in Fast and Furious, there are guns, too. And yeah, but you wouldn't be... You would be more into the cars and the women, not the guns. Okay, moving on, moving on. 
Ginger Beard. Ginger Beard, what's yours? You could be stuck in an anime, TV show, movie, book. For one year, what would it be? And Um, why? A year, huh? Okay. Well, um... This is a very big life decision for Ginger Beard. He has to pick one of his loves. Yes. Playing to live in? Yeah. For a year. A year. year. So it could be an anime, TV show, book, movie... I know a video, video game. Also that. Video game as well. As well. Um, Sonic the Hedgehog. For a year? For a year? I love their, I love the uh, music and their, and the landscape is, is beautiful. Wow, you couldn't fuck anything though. Uh, yeah, that's true. I couldn't. <laughs> and well, then again, uh... Unless you ask Batman to make you a pussy robot. I mean, there are um, some. If you, there's humans in there, just not a lot. All right. A princess. Right. Sonic. Okay. I'll go next. Well, to be honest with you, now that you added video games, I, I can see Andrew going Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh okay. yeah. I don't know if the one that's gonna have the anime in this one, but it was like reviewers or industry reviewers, and why? Um, endless harm of monster goes to fuck. Let's go. Uh, I'm, I'm not interested in this. You're not interested because Josh went second. Because Josh went next. That's why you're not interested. Mm. I can't believe you. I can't believe you, out of all people, wouldn't want to spend, wouldn't want to spend one day in the Marvel universe. Yeah. All people, John, would want to spend one day in the Marvel Universe. Be Spider-Man's best friend. Bro, oh, you have your life tree. It, yeah, I could, but the whole e- e- universe, it's got its flaws, you know? I mean, there's... It's got its flaws, dude, but that's that's all universes. This would be fun. Oh, I would pay to be Batman's best friend. <laughs> I would, too. Billy and that Bruce Wayne's best friend, come on now. Yeah, I'd rather just, uh... I swear to God, if anyone comments on this on this podcast, they're going to say, Ginger Beer had the lamest. I know they are. <laughs> he picked Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> but I can do nothing in that world but just sit there and be like, oh my God, this place is so green. This place is so awesome. That means it's gonna make you go crazy, and like that, that means it's gonna make you go crazy on day fourteen. You might start <laughs> doing the I'll call you myself. You might start killing the fuckers. I would. By day, by, by the end of the year, we come to get you. It's a mass murder of everyone yeah. dead. Oh my God! Oh my God! Is it time for us to go home now? Okay. And you got John sitting in the corner, being like, just, 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 just playing over and over. I can't remember. All right, I changed. I changed my mind. Go ahead. Dragon Ball Z. No, 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 I guess John would pick Dragon Ball Z first, and then he surprised me with Sonic. Yeah. I still want to kill myself. Dude, you, you can perform Kamehameha. Damn, Hammer, 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 so he doesn't get that shit. Andrew's not an anime fan. Andrew's more into war and gun shit. Although, I think you would become an anime fan with us. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you injured hands. That is the best for last. Hold on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hey, Andrew. Yeah. Did you, uh, did you watch the Dragon Ball Z movie? Yeah, I did. 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 Y
Josh has that shitty grip on his face right now. <laughs> I hate you, Josh. Oh, I just played it. Oh, earned that ten dollars. John earned that ten bucks. Yeah, it did. Fucking broke it. No, and then I lost the ten bucks thanks to this, thanks to that asshole right there, Josh. Can I actually ask you a question, Josh? Are we really gonna end on this last topic, or is there? No, I'm gonna tell my story, then we're gonna end. I feel like there will be more. To- I feel like there's another topic in here that we can do. John, yeah, yeah. Your beer. Do you have one? I think I do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we'll do ginger beer and then your stupid story. Well, what was the the deaf topic? The what? Celebrity deafs hitting us. This is how it was. What celebrity deaf? Oh, right. You know, hit us hard in the peep, in our feelings. Okay. All right. Andrew, you want to start us off? Save, save, uh, save Josh for last this time. We don't need him to ruin it. Fuck you. Just saying. I have Just one. Just like you did okay. with that weird topic earlier. Uh, All right, Andrew, what's the, what's the celebrity death that ruined your life? Or made you feel bad, like, grow really sad? Stan Lee. Okay, so Junior Beer steals the moment. Stan Lee. Okay. I, yeah, know, I, know, I know quite a few celebrities who have died. Okay, I know of quite a few celebrities who have died. Well, which one rocked you the hardest? I think it's a wash between um, that captain from Deadliest Catch and um, Paul Walker. Uh, oh, right. oh, yeah. You called it. You called it. Called it. <laughs> Dad, that was a big one. You called it though, Chris. You're like your toe walk match, you go lady. Oh yeah. I forgot about I that. Oh well, what's okay, so it? What Chris your turn? Tim Japan chose um family. You're Paul Walker and the guy from Nellis Catch. Chris, what's up to you? Oh, yeah. Celebrity death to rock us hard. Hmm. Mm. You know what? I'm going to pick one that n- none of you know. I'm going to pick a uh, Neil Peart from Rush. Oh, that sucks. The drummer. Yeah. When did he die? He died of, uh, he died, uh, well, last year, just before COVID. Well, yeah, he, he died of a brain tumor. Yeah, I'm glad he, he did have... He that he fought for uh, several years, actually, and they predicted him to die way sooner than he actually did. And I'm glad he wasn't around to see the virus. Well, his baby girl was. That's oh. not very good. Oh, yeah. He's actually a really incredible drummer. You guys actually should listen to him when you get a chance. All right, Josh, beer cry baby fest. Let's go. Let's get this on camera. Michael Jackson and Alan Rickman. Can I just say one thing, guys? Miss Michael Jackson's the one celebrity Josh with a lot would actually spread his ass cheeks open while he masturbates to. I see that. Oh, I love Michael Jackson. I love this music. You don't sound about this, John. You know what's sad part about this? You know what's sad part about this is that Andrew, John. You know what's sad part about this is that when he told me that, I told him so. You would be bent over. Exposed in a in a vulnerable position. What's to stop him from completing that transition and just fucking you? Wow. <laughs> and Josh and, he, and then I broke him. Well, so he agreed. Yeah. Josh, you have issues. Josh has a million issues. <laughs> he does. <laughs> <laughs> and we're learning about them every day we hang out with him which is surprising okay we're still learning them and we've been hanging out for like what three years now Over yeah. that? and we've just been doing the podcast for their episodes so our fans are going to start noticing his weird issues as well okay, okay. i have one john you're a your topic before i tell my story ginger beer go okay um your favorite your favorite childhood 
occurred occurred soon. Well, what is it? Favorite childhood cartoon. Oh, uh, that's a difficult one. That's a very difficult one. That's very, very good. Mine is kind of unfortunate. Courage, Kelly right. Dog. Oh, courage. <laughs> All right, when I Josh, Courage, Kelly Dog. Do you want to explain why? I just love the horror aspect. Um, I mean, when I was a kid, it wasn't really. It was, there's a lot of shows on Cartoon Network that scared me, except for Crush Cowley Dog. That shit scared the shit out of me. So certain episodes scared the shit out of me. And me too. Um, the one I can remember off the top of my head is Return the Slab. Return the Slab. King Ramses. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to lie. Crush Cowley Dog. It's a very good episode. That's a very good series. All right. Double Shark. Andy, what's yours? Um, SpongeBob. SpongeBob. Oh, it was everybody's favorite. Now I can't even watch it because it brings back haunting memories. Why? Okay. Well, what happened? Wait, wait, wait. Is SpongeBob brave right for you? No. Oh, Show us the big bad ginger beer white where the big bad sponge touched you. Wait, what? What, no. Josh? <laughs> what the fuck, Josh? <laughs> what did you say? What? The fuck, dude? I was kidding. I was Absolute fuck. And this is going to hit on iHeartRadio, you dumbass. I hate you, Josh. <laughs> and you know how bad, you know how stingy they are. <laughs> I didn't know they were stingy. All right. Dude, I told you, I texted you there. Okay, um, Andrew, uh, well, so, what happened between you and SpongeBob? It brings back memories of my ex. Your ex? Oh, sad memories. Sad memories? What? Bad. Bad. Bad, bad memories. What bad memories? Wait, wait, don't tell me that she was like 19 and still watch Spongebob, bro. No, she was a year older. Actually, yes. Oh, God. Oh, my yes. God. Please kill me. <laughs> Did you watch it with, with her or what? Mm-hmm. So you watch the worst seasons. Okay, that's that makes oh a lot of sense. Oh, that makes a lot of sense, actually. Uh, well, hey, you know what? My favorite, Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Good pick, good pick. Mm. I can see that. I, I, my, oh my god. It was, it's a classic. I, I love I it. I don't even describe how good it was. Yeah, it was a good one. Your turn, Chris. I gotta go. I don't know, Teen Titans. And not Teen Titans Go. No. No, <laughs> bullshit, yeah. No, Teen Titans, the original. Now, yeah. That was a series. They fucked it up nowadays. Oh, no, they fucked it up real hard. Which, which is why, which is why, if I, if I could, I would love to just redo and recreate an entirely new series of it. Which I already talked to you about, Josh. You already know yeah, that. But, I agree. Yeah, no. no, it would be a great. No, that's good. That's a good series. Okay. Andrew, do you have a topic that you want to discuss? Bring to the table before we go. Uh, what about story time, Todd? Yeah, no, okay. uh, I, want Andy to story. Say I don't have anything. Seriously, come on, man. Not one thing. Not no. one thing. You don't want to talk about one thing. What the hell? I have. Oh. No, you just shared the screen. We're good. Did you bring? What's going on? Yeah. S sorry. Hang okay. on. Whoa, whoa. You're getting your own vacation. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Hang on. Are you typing in Japanese, my dude? No. What the fuck, dude? What the? Gosh, are you drinking something? I feel like I feel like that. I feel like that can of soda had something in it. No, look, he has Japanese on his fucking screen. I think, Josh, you may need to subject to a breath, or you need you may need to take a breathalyzer, buddy. I'm not drunk. Fuck you. Are you sure about that? Dude, look at the screen. Does not look Japanese. No, no! What the hell? What, what are you looking at? 
I think Josh has been watching too much anime. I think Josh believes he's in a Japanese world. <laughs> I would, I'm not going to lie. It's a funny bit right now, but I, I feel like our... I feel like anyone who listens to this is going to feel like, man, that one-eyed Josh sounds like he's on something. Were your chips made... Were your chips sliced with weed? No, I don't think so. Are you yeah, sure? You sound high. <laughs> you sound high as fuck right now. I'm not high as fuck. Okay, um... Cool. Cool. I don't think he would pass a urine test. Oh, no. <laughs> so, um, are you going to wrap this up or what? Yes, oh. we're going to wrap my story. Okay, guys. Your story? I'm going to tell the story of the reason why I stopped drinking to the point of blacking out. I would like to point out, audience, you're about to get, you're about to see into the mind of a fat loser. Fuck off. Hang on a second, Doc. Don't do it. Don't do it just yet. Are you just going to record this shit? <laughs> Can you stop recording, Andrew? Go ahead, Josh. Okay. So I was 17, recently broke up, uh, taking a break with my girlfriend. Just at the time, the later would tear out my heart and tear it to pieces. <laughs> um, so I was at a party and I drank like I always do, way too much, and I blacked out. Okay. Well, again, when you black out, you don't remember what you do the next morning. So when I woke up, I woke up right, and immediately I woke up and I saw three of the fattest pictures of different embassies I've ever seen in my life. Just so you know, 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 audience, the Caraball Podcast does not participate in the fat shaming of fat women. Yes. Only, only when I Josh. Continue. Josh, I do not. Dude, he's not going fat. Whatever you say, dude, as long as the audience knows that me, Ginger Beard, and Double Shot Andy are not fat shaming women. I wasn't shaming them because they are gay. Saying someone's fat when they're fat is not fat shaming. I don't know. What do you call that, Ginger Beard? Do you call that fat shaming? Eh, yeah, a little bit. Thank you. Well, fuck you. Okay. I'm being so honest here. I okay, jeez. My private smelled not right. Oh, dear God. And we were all naked, but naked. In the same bed. Uh, that bit held you all. Yeah, I was surprised too, actually. Because the other one were about a thousand pounds, maybe. No, no, like nine hundred pounds. My bad, nine hundred. And um, I just remember looking at one of the girls that she had the that was sitting, and it was full of. Oh my like, oh, God, God, Johnny! What the fuck? Dude, it's iHeart Radio, you shithead. I can't put any of this out now. <laughs> put on the other one. Oh, fucking god damn it. I have to edit stuff now. Ugh, fuck. You dumbass. I get it. Okay, we can delete that scene. Oh, God, keep it in. For the love of God. And I just remember, that was the one time, folks, the one time I did everything that girls hate. I quietly got out of the bed. Put my pants on and dip from the fucking room and left the house. So the moral of the story is, Josh, don't drink till you black out. Because shit will happen to you. I don't think what that's going to happen to me. But let it, be, not, let it be known: every time Josh is blacked out, he's ended up in bed with a fat woman. That's not true. That's Ooh. totally true. Either that, or his girl, either that or his girl butt fucks him. Fuck you. I hate you. <laughs> that was really that story. <laughs> You should have told that story, man. I probably should at some point. You should have told that story. Although your mom would have listened to it because it's on iHeartRadio, so your mom would now know. I'll do it next time, okay? Please don't. Please, for the love of God. Maybe, now let's go on. Maybe I should plan oh, the next... Uh, podcast because I don't think I feel, like, I feel like we all should plan the next podcast because whenever except we, for Josh whenever we do it it's 
me and Josh, and Josh comes up with the weirdest ideas. The worst ever. I'm the one who came up with the Joker idea, by the way. Thank you. I still get it. St I still have to edit a few stuff because Josh. Well, you, Chris, you pointed it in. Not me. Uh, what? I got you know, it. Joker one, not me. Stuff. That's, I like, hate Josh. that's why I said I came up with the Joker one. I came up with the anime in the movie one. I came up with the death one. It's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. That's all, all fine. That's all well on, Danny. We don't have to edit anything, John. I just, I just, I don't know what I, I don't know how to do. I just pre-recorded all of that. I like to point out. I like to point out. Double Shot Grill has recorded. I really wish you hadn't. Andrew, I was hoping you would have a topic instead of Josh, but I was okay. I'm hoping that too. I was kind of really hoping that too. You give me hopes up. Thanks. Do you have anything at all to say for myself? Mm. <laughs> I think we're, we're talking to you, Josh. Oh, well, well, just, Shut up. Just a great lot of shame of what I did. You realize shame. You fat shame three fat girls. And, and you just said that you basically did a one night stand and left them while they were all sleeping. And I have to edit stuff out. Which I. I don't know where to start. I didn't fat shame them because they were. Because, okay. I saw a text them. Backstream will be like, nah, You didn't even know you had sex with it. You woke up from a drunken thing. You did what every girl does when they realize that he's fucked an ugly dude. I should have planned all this. I, 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 we all should have planned this from the start. Guerrero! They kept recording that. Guerrero! <laughs> 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 Besides laughing at Josh for his stupidness. Dude, I can't even, I can't even anymore. Oh, well, I God. Even, I'm sorry. I'm okay. Sorry. I got no. it. I think I possibly go. No, no, no. I don't trust no. you anymore. No, no Fabric no. Scooby-Doo Monster. Oh, Fabric Scooby-Doo oh, Monster? Yeah. Sco Scooby-Doo oh. Monster. Mm. What about that? That thing we were talking about before, Chris, with uh, creating our own monster. Oh, that one. Uh, uh, not, not Andrew, not, not, not on the podcast. I don't want to give anybody ideas. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Right. right. What, what do I say? We'll, we'll do that off podcast. But very scary monsters. Okay. All right. But there's a challenge. No, no, no. There's a challenge. The entire... First series is off limits. Damn. All right. Oh fuck you. I mean, it's off no, 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 no. It's off limits to Josh. The rest of us is completely open to you. <laughs> you're an ass. I like your beard. What's better with you? Well, my favorite is is probably uh, the, the pirate one. Uh, Red Beard. Yes, yes, Red Bear the Pirate. Your uncle. Is yeah. Um, why we tell you Ginger Bear the Pirate. My, uh, my ancient aunt's sister. My. <laughs> On the Ginger side. Yep. <laughs> yeah, he's me. All right, all right. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Double shot, Andrew. What's yours? I've only really watched one Scooby Doo movie, and that. From when I was a kid, but I haven't watched it. I, I don't watch it anymore. Andrew, you're breaking up. Um, yeah, you're breaking up, man. You got it. My problem is the, I think the headphone mic keeps touching my shirt. Then lift it up. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of doing a little bit of engineering here. Um, what's, what's in the background? I'm hearing. Is, is that you, Josh? No. No, it's Andrew. It's Andrew's thing. Andrew, what is it? What's your favorite monster? Go. Uh, the only movie I really watched as a kid was Witch's Ghost. So it's Witch's Ghost. All right. Let's go with it. The so Witch, okay. Wait, yeah, it's Witch's Ghost. All right, I guess my, I'll do mine, because Josh needed this time to think of one. No, Giggling I got it. Giggling Green Ghost. Giggling Green Ghost. Fuck you! I told you, Josh. Your first, I told you, you can't do any of the first series. You have to do, you have to do the rest. 
Nine. Ready for this one? Ready? Ten thousand volt ghost. I believe that's from the first series. That's from the second season. Series. See? Here you go. So it goes, Scooby-Doo, where are you? And the Scooby-Doo show. Who? Who? The Scooby-Doo show actually, actually extended to season three of Scooby-Doo, where are you? Yes, but the other logo goes, is it in that season? Okay. Your point? That makes it part of, that makes it part of season two. Okay, you mean series two? Series two, my bad. Yeah, I, I still got, I still got your family, you little shithead. Fuck you. <laughs> I can't Although the giggling green ghosts are my favorite, so that's good one. Yeah. Well, I got, you know what? I, I, you know what? I'm gonna save this. I got a topic for us. What? I just want as you can participate in. Can. Can. Participate in. He can participate in. I, I have an idea. Um, what is so far, like we did for the Joker, what is your favorite Spider Man actor to date? Can be from the movie, can be from the movies, it can be from the animated shows, video games. What, what is your favorite Spider Man actor? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out who the one was from the original one. Toby McGuire. Toby McGuire, yeah. I think I'd I like him. I'd be after Garfield. Okay. John? Did you beard? Um a voice actor. Um Um Josh Keaton from from, from the spectacular Spider Man. Not bad, not bad. Alright. My favorite? Hmm. What? My favorite. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have to go with the voice actor from uh, the uh, Marvel Spider-Man game, the uh, one that just came out, the recent one. Yuri, 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 Yuri Lowenthal. Yuri, Yuri Lowenthal. Yeah, that one. Okay, I got one more topic before we end the podcast. Actually, I got one. Let okay. Ginger Beard go. Fine. Now I'll go to the last. Okay. Andrew, I think you can, uh, um, you can help us out with this one. Okay. Okay. Who, who is worse? Um, a, a murderer, a pedophile, or a scammer? Oh. That's a hard one, though, dude. Right? Um, they're all worse for different reasons. Right. I would say scammers the worst. Scammers are the worst? Because here's the why. You already know what you're getting into with a murderer or a pedophile. A scammer could be all three at once. That's true, yeah. That's true. I mean, yeah, but... It's just, it's hard to say. Then again, then again, a murderer could be, then again, a murderer could be a mass murderer or a serial killer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. True. Which means they've killed, they've killed hundreds of people. True. Still, if you're a scammer, you're, 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 you're stealing from, um, innocent, innocent people who just want, who just want your help. And it's like you, you don't have a, you don't have an ounce of um, of um, empathy at all, and that's it, kind of a, uh, it's kind of, it's kind of messed up. If you think about it. We're doing it for the money. They don't care about. They don't care about you. They're, you're you're just a, you're just a name on the screen. You're a dollar sign to them. That's all you are. The thing is, if you really know what you're doing, you can really mess with them. Me and my boss have done it before. Yeah, I've done it before too. So have uh, I. And it must. So, and they can be fun. Actually, they encourage you to mess with them because then it slows them down, and they can't. And it, and it may prevent them from scamming other people. They don't encourage you to do that. They want you to pay their money, bro. No, I mean like law enforcement. Oh yeah, they do. I know that. Well, in fact, well, they're mostly, they're mostly. 
India. I don't know why. Because they're, because they're fucking, because they're the largest population besides China. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> My last topic. No, wait, no, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We haven't decided which was worse. Okay. We grammars. What comes next? Um, here's, here's, well, so, I said, I said, scammer, murderer, or pedophile. Pedof we're going to murder second. Yeah. Murder second, then pedophile third? Yeah, murder second. Yeah. Yeah. Andrew? I would actually go murderer first, pedophile second, and scammer third. But here's the thing about I'd actually go the opposite. A scammer can be all three at once, you would never know, because you're dealing with them through the screen. Yeah, but you, Josh, uh, but Josh, they wouldn't, they wouldn't be all three because a scammer likes to keep, likes to be away from the victim. He doesn't want to kill a victim. He just wants the money. Yeah, he wants the money. And he hides. At that, at that, at that point, you're, you're talking about a serial killer. You're not talking about a fucking scammer. Because sometimes when you're facing down a murderer, it's kill or be killed. I'm not going to lie. I think, I, think, I, think, I think double shots got it. Got, got the right order. Okay. Yeah, you you know, the only reason why, you're, the reason why you're, you think scammers are worse because you've been scammed a couple of times. I think well, we all have. Like most people have. I think yeah. most of us have in this conversation. I was almost scammed, actually. Yeah, see? We've all almost been, we've all either been scammed I've or almost scammed. had my debit card stolen. I've almost had my debit card information stolen. I had my debit card information stolen. I had my debit card information stolen, like, Same. What? It took 10 cents out of my account, and usually that's what they do first before they absolutely bring it. Well, they didn't do that. They, 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 they bought... All right, I guess I'll tell you my scam. One of my scam stories. Apparently, my, apparently I scammer bought two, two, two call girls. One was for, I think, 20 bucks, and the other one was for $10. Someone get herpes and AIDS. So that brought about the ten dollars came second. That means that, that means that the twenty dollar one just didn't work out. Probably, but you still pay his his. Yeah, my my statement is um. I'll give you my scam one one of them at least. Um. I, one of my exes hired this bitch to try to expose me to some news I had sent her a while back. Yeah. Because we broke up, and it was one of her friends. Okay. I'm really honest with you, those dudes were not, those dudes were not at all. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, they're not, they're mainly underwear pics. They're not actual news, but still. And she tried to send to one of my Facebook friends lists, including you, um, you and John. Well, no, hell no, I would not. Well, you know what? We already seen your dick. Seriously. Is that something you want to admit on this? Sure, why not? It's a penis. We've all seen penises. Yeah, true. Josh was high and drunk. Thank you for admitting that, dumb fuck. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know. He's got, he's, got poor, he's got poor ginger beard for life. I'm sorry about that ginger beard. He'll never be the same again. I'm not even paying attention anymore. At this point, he's, at this point, you lost him. All right, let's fire him, cookies. For the love of God. Okay, yes, Josh got scammed. They're still scamming him to this day. They're not. I got rid of them, finally. Congratulations. Okay, what was your last topic, Josh? Okay, what's everyone's favorite Batman villain? Batman villain? Yeah. Mr. Freeze. Joker. Scarecrow. Uh, Joker. Yeah. <laughs> it's always a Joker. You don't know any Batman villains. Did you? You just. Okay. He could still do it. He could have done Harley for fuck's sakes. Okay. Yeah. Harley. Harley. Makes sense. 
Okay, and you want I'm gonna just just to add on top of that for the final topic, which is the Batman villain Har villainesses would you would you date or have sex with? Harley. Seriously, uh, you can go poison ivy. I don't even know what poison ivy looks like, so I sent you pictures of her, you dumb fuck. God. Catwoman. Also, Poison Ivy is more likely to be naked. Catwoman. Like, oh, damn. I'm gonna stick with Harley. You, you sad, sad shit. I gotta show okay. you. I'm gonna I go, go Talia Al Ghul. Talia Al Ghul? Yeah. Alright. You know what? Just so that we're not sharing women on any of this, I'm gonna go Poison Ivy. Someone's gotta give the girl some love. <laughs> you mean the, uh, you, you mean... Five minutes. You mean the, um, uh, eco-terrorist? Hey, look, dude, you got a condom, you won't die. Cool. Hey, guys, five minutes. Uh, I, I saw the notice, Andrew. Your yeah, call bitch. ends in five minutes. Oh, wow. Five minutes. Okay, um, what's so, so, now what? All right, that's been the that's been our episode of of Camel Podcast. Sorry, it sucked. It's, this whole oh, disaster. Sorry, Josh. This going on. So we're gonna come back with episode four. Hopefully, the guys help plan it this time. Hopefully, it'll be and, a little bit better. And uh, we're gonna have to find a new recording platform. Shit. All right, and good night. Good night, yeah. folks. Bye.